uh, having to do with uh, the standards for drug approval. Now, I uh, could have done this, and I, I see it's not. It's not, okay. Here we go. Okay, so what's the uh, statutory standard for approval of a drug? There are several, but I want to focus in on um, the statutory standard for effectiveness, and that's defined as substantial evidence. And the law says that substantial evidence is evidence that the drug will have the effect that is basically uh, claimed for it under the conditions of use prescribed, recommended, or suggested in the proposed labeling. In other words, uh, substantial evidence that the drug will have the effect that the label says it has. The point here that I want to make is that if we can label what the drug does, if we can describe what the drug does, and in the case here we're talking about perhaps treating normal folks, uh, then, that's, uh, then that's acceptable from the point of view of the law. Again, if we can describe it, uh, and it doesn't have to be an effect on a disease or an abnormal condition, then the law permits us to approve a drug for that purpose. Now, I, I will add that there are many things you could imagine drugs could do that could be described and therefore perhaps be consistent with, with these provisions of the law. I would say, of course, uh, that isn't always the case. One could imagine, for example, a drug that is designed to, for reasons that might be obscure, affect some particular circulating moiety in the plasma, uh, the clinical significance of which is entirely unknown. Uh, and then I guess one could argue that if we had a drug that actually uh, decreased that level of that circulating species, and we could describe what that was, that would mean that we would be required to approve it uh, because we could describe it. Of course, there's uh, judgment uh, imposed into what sorts of things can be, can be approved.